Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Mine Reset. Mine Reset allows you to create areas where blocks like ores will generate with control over what exact blocks will generate there. Of course, this plugin has a reset feature where it will completely regenerate the area for you, filling all the blocks again. This is a plugin for the Bedrock version, however, please ensure that you're running Pocket Mine server type. To install the plugin, head over to the link in the description, which will open up this plugin page. This is where you'll download the plugin from. Then, right click the direct download button and select copy link address. Because this is a direct download, you can download it straight to your panel. Find your way into the plugins folder, press the upload file button, and then here under the upload from web section, paste the link you just copied and press the upload button. The plugin should automatically download for you. Now restart your server and then you're ready to go. Here I have myself a small area where I want my mine to be. Once you've decided where you want it, type in slash mine create and then the mine name. It will now ask you to right click two points, either a top corner or a bottom corner. Once you do that, right click the opposite corner, just like so. This will create a cuboid area in which your mine will be in. It doesn't actually matter if there are blocks in the area as they will be deleted in the generation process. Now that you've done that, let's tell the plugin what blocks we want to generate. I'm going to do something different and instead of normal stone, I'm going to actually generate glass. Type in slash mine set, then the name of the mine and then follow this format. First is the ID of the block and then the percentage and then again the ID of the block and then the percentage. Here what I have is 50% glass, 10% diamond ore, 30% gold ore and then 10% redstone ore. Then to generate the blocks, type in slash mine reset and then the mine name. And there we go, as you can see, it works. If you want to reset the mine again, just run the same command. And if a person is inside the mine at the time you do that, it will try and teleport the player out. If you want to know more information about this plugin, check out the plugin page. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.